Hello world, this is Random Fix and today I'm literally stuck and I'm going to show you guys how you may be able to go ahead and get your vehicle started if this happens to you and you're by yourself. So I went to go start my Mercedes diesel sprinter and I put the key in the ignition and nothing, nothing no lights, no sounds. Even this guy has no power and the battery on this vehicle isn't too convenient to get to it's actually underneath this board here and you need some torque spits to get to here so i'm going to show you guys my attempt at jump starting a diesel mercedes using one of these duracell lithium ion powered jump starters and I'm gonna actually gonna be a little nervous about this because last time I jump started this vehicle it took me over half an hour using a car so this is definitely gonna be a real test for this I've had this in my glove box here for about three weeks and haven't charged it since then but the battery is reading full and it's a pretty cool unit I'll go into that a little bit more if it jump starts this particular vehicle so let's go ahead and get this started all right so this is the way the unit comes. The unit comes with this cool little travel bag. And inside the travel bag here, you have this jumper attachment that you're going to be able to go ahead and put on here. And this just slides into place. And once you slide it into place, you'll notice that the green light's going to start blinking. And this is pretty cool. And the reason I wanted to get these jump packs is because I actually want to be able to give this to my wife so in case she does anything crazy like tries to jump start a vehicle backwards and if you notice the unit just powered off so these are going to be a little bit safer than trying to use ordinary jumper cables especially at night time you could definitely make a mistake using jumper cables with this this is going to save you thousands of dollars in case you get your terminals wrong now let's go check out and see if we can actually get this diesel jump started using this jump pack here so here it is this is going to be my jump port for my mercedes here my positive terminal is going to go here and if you're not able to find a ground like this you can normally use a good body ground or engine mount as long as it's a nice and clean surface you're going to be able to get a decent ground from it so let's go ahead and connect this as with any device guys these these jumper packs they're pretty intelligent so they're looking for a couple of things and when you get it it's going to come with instructions it's going to let you know this jump pack may not work if your battery has less than three volts so this particular vehicle has been dead about four or five days now and we're going to actually take the reading of this battery before we jump start it just so you guys can see what i'm talking about all right so we're going to use a, a voltmeter like this and if my battery is going to be able to retain enough voltage to be able to start after sitting here dead like this, your car is definitely not going to have an issue. And we're going to go to DC 12 volts. So we got our multimeter set up here and I'm going to go ahead and get the voltage on this. And okay, so the volts on this are 3.92 volts. So so that should be good enough for the uh, jump starter to detect that it is hooked up to a battery. You want to hook up your positive terminal first. So since my negative terminal here is too far away from the actual jumper unit, I'm going to find an alternate ground now. And we're going to go ahead and go right here. And we're going to turn this unit back on. And let's see what's actually happening at the terminals now. If we get enough voltage to potentially start the vehicle. So before we head inside and give this a quick crank, I'm going to show you guys this actually has stabilized a battery, and we're at 11.6 volts. And this is pretty impressive, considering that this battery was under four volts when we first tried it out. And one other thing, you can tell that the jump pack is working really hard to stabilize this battery because we went from full to three-fourths full 
before you get connected you'll notice that the light is actually blinking and once you get a good solid connection you're gonna see the light will stop blinking and turn solid if you hear a beep or anything like that that definitely lets you know that you've hooked it up backwards so that's a definite money saver so now that we got a good connection I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this jump started and I'm really nervous this is the ultimate test for any jump pack is gonna be a diesel and especially a diesel that hasn't been started for a long time you want to make sure your jump pack doesn't fall over so I'm gonna to try to put it in the safest place possible all right let's go ahead and give this a try now we have dash lights we're gonna let the glow plug warm up and once the glow plugs are warmed up we're gonna go ahead and give this crank yay we got it started let's go ahead and get this disconnected now we can go ahead and disconnect everything and there it is well that's pretty cool this is uh, definitely something that's going to be able to save the day and let's, let me show you guys why I almost thought this was going to be impossible check this out this car to jump start almost took half of the jump packs energy usage so these Mercedes diesels are really really hard to start especially since this thing has this enormous battery that was very very low these jump packs are pretty cool if you haven't tried them out before I'll have a link to this in the description box below you can buy them in on Amazon and different stores and this is actually made by Duracell so pretty cool brand name and I'm sure they want to stand behind their product all right perfect so we got the Mercedes Benz started and I want to show you guys this particular jump packs extra features that it has and if you go ahead and pull up this cover now you'll notice that it's got a USB charger right here that is able to act as a power bank to power up your other devices and it's also got a micro USB input right here where which is actually used to charge the unit so that's pretty handy to have there other than than that we also got a strobe light built in with a high and low setting and also a strobe effect which is pretty useful on the side of the road and this thing is definitely impressive I'll have a link to everything in the description box below as well as other videos but definitely check this out and the nice thing about it is that it stores the weight very conveniently and the little carry on bag here and ready for its next usage all right guys now that we got the Mercedes started and it's running and letting the battery charge up a little bit I want to hear from you guys so please leave your comments in the description box below if you guys have had good experiences with these jump packs or if you've had a lemon in the past that didn't deliver I want to hear about it as well and these new lithium powered jump packs are pretty cool I've had those big jump boxes where you weighs about 60 pounds. I used those for a long time and the only problem with those was the battery did not hold up and lithium is completely different and delivers. Have a great day guys. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button right here so that way whenever I post a video that's aimed at saving you time and money, you guys will get notified and make sure you ring that bell as well. Have a great day. Take care. You know, if you guys have any comments, hit the subscribe button, and I really appreciate your continued support.